Bell Road Preserver 2000 here back again doing another video here and in this video I'm actually filming in Athens Georgia today and the reason is for this bridge here this is an old bridge in one of Athens cemeteries it was built by the Georgie King Bridge Company in Des Moines Iowa built in 1888 and as you can see it's a trapezoid frame design meaning the main beams form a trapezoid shape right there and it's a truss design overhead truss I forget the actual name for it but it's been here for quite a while and I was going to walk across it if I can let me get into a wide angle for you guys there we go now you can see the whole structure as you can see it also crosses this rather picturesque uh, I think this is a river streamer river you can see the brick bridge abutment here what's interesting is it's partially built on a rock a lot that's in, into the uh, that's pretty much wedged into the bank and you can see the other abutment on the other side and part of the steel and concrete approach there now I don't know if the bridge would have had a wooden deck at one point I would imagine it probably did at one time and then they paved over it as you can tell, I think that has started to rot, judging by the two massive steel plates here. Showing it by the hole. The holes, I think they might either be getting ready to, I don't know if they're going to repave this or rip all this up like the roadway and then completely rebuild it. I don't know which, but imagine it's probably one of the two. Oh, and here's something creepy since this is in a cemetery. But cemetery isn't complete without spider webs. Yes. There is a spider's web right here. Go figure. <laughs> yeah, that's totally that's totally normal. See there's the name right there. C R M Co. Don't know what that means. You can see the approach there on the other end. Now if you're noticing the, the uh, design of this bridge is similar to the one to that massive railroad trestle in Memphis. As far as the steel design goes, as far as the interlocking beams right there. So this is kind of like that one, but on a much smaller scale. You can see the river again there. So now we're walking back across the bridge towards our grandmother's car there. And of course, here there's all the cemetery monuments. I mean, this is an old cemetery. It's been here for years, so. <laughs> yeah, and you also have to cross the Athens Lines route just to get to it. Now you can see we're still on the bridge. It's just curves. And now I'll look, I'll look back once I'm fully across. But it's funny, you can see how the concrete part of the bridge is actually in a lot, is in a much sturdier shape than compared to the part that has the asphalt in other words you can see which one has is in better shape concrete portions fine asphalt part not <laughs> and you know I bet you the seals probably just as in just as decent a shape but I'm pointing the camera back as I walk so you can see how the thing curves of course, the old railings go right about until there, so, yeah. But you can see how the bridge curves, how the approach for it curves. Let's see if I can walk down and get a better view from underneath. I'll have to ask before that. All right, so hold on. Uh, right here, right here, my work. They actually cut, yeah, they cut the railing off right there, hence the torch marks. <laughs> yeah, right there might be the only way I can go down. Yeah, right there, just gotta mind them real quick. Right. Yeah, so there's this area, this little road here that goes down and around the graves, so I don't have to worry about disturbing them. So I was going to go and show the underside of the bridge. And as you can see, I mean, the, the cemetery is an old one. It's been around for years. 
I don't know exactly when it was started, but I know it's been probably been here for as long as the city's been here. Now you can see the underside of the bridge coming up. So I want to see if the the truss portion is. Um, I want to see if that part is uh, has a wood deck underneath or what's left of it. I'd imagine they probably would have removed it anyway, but I don't know. Usually, whenever they repave a uh, when they pave over an old bridge, they usually I think leave the wood in place so that it gives the asphalt something to hold on to to grab onto. But now, let me go underneath. Now you can see, I think this part is new. Yeah, so this was built fairly recently. So for all I know, this could have been built as recently as 20 to 30 years ago. Because you can see where the original pillars were, where all these rocks are. That's what these are, old rocks. So I'd imagine these were where the old pillars of the bridge used to be. And they knocked them out to build the new one. Because there's the old approach there, the old abutment. The old rock abutment there on the far end. And now there's the brick portion. And as you can see, there's actually something written underneath here. So let me see what this says. That's why another, another reason I'm glad I came under here. So what does this say? Oh, 1888, I thought. Erected 18... I thought it was 1888. No, I think this is 1899. Yeah, 1899. So the bridge would have turned 100, I think, in 1999. I thought it said 1888 up on the top. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm officially an idiot now. But there's the original brick abutment for the truss span. Now then, there's the water, I guess, the water or gas main that goes... Uh, underneath there's see the pipe there rattling right, let's see if I can't do this without breaking my neck oh, that was an old uh, water main alright so here's the underside of the bridge and as you can see it's got what is essentially tin uh Oh, hey, buddy. How are you doing there? It's got what's akin to uh, what you'd see on roofs, like what you'd see metal shed roofing underneath. So I'll bet that was probably, this probably would have had wood as the original decking, and then later as that deteriorated, they came in and replaced it with this and put asphalt over it. So that's probably going to have to be ripped up and replaced. Heck, for all I know, they might have to take the old tin out and replace everything. I don't know if the bridge is on the National Register, but I'd imagine it might be. So they can't get rid of the actual truss part, so they'd have to fix, they'd probably have to replace all of that. All of the roadway would probably have to be replaced. But here's a better view of the river, at least, which is nice. It's actually uh, quite pretty. <laughs> you can see actually from the watermark that it's down a bit by a few inches. As evidenced by the rock there, you can see where the rock has a more darker color. That's where the water level would normally be. So, uh, yeah, let's see if I can't get out of here, shall we? There we go. It's probably when the water got... So this is probably when the water got really high right here, all this sediment and sand. I don't know if that was, if it's due to that or if that's due to, um, I don't know if that was due to flooding or due to um, everything else. Like people dumping it there, like city dumping it there. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, you can see the new portion of the bridge. Like, I don't even know if this is actually a new part. For all I know, this could have been part of the original structure or added, say, like I said, 30, 40 years for later. But I'm glad they kept the actual truss part. So, yeah, 1899 was when it was built, which made it would have made it 100 in 1999. 
So with that, I will uh, see y'all later.